สวัสดีครับผมชื่อจอชผมมาจากประเทศอังกฤษครับผมพูดภาษาไทยได้นิดหน่อยครับ Hello everyone I'm Josh uh, in the garden again with another video for you today uh, if you haven't already met me yet I'm the marketing manager here at Impact Teaching I'm living in Chiang Mai in northern Thailand and that was my little attempt at speaking Thai I am currently learning um, three days a week, studying, and pff, it is tough, but it's great. Anyway, what am I going to talk about today? We've had this question so many times from so many people. Do you have to speak the local language when teaching abroad? People get very worried about it. They think, how can I speak, teach in China if I don't know Chinese? How can I speak in Poland if I can't speak Polish? The simple answer is, you don't need to speak the local language. But let me go into a bit more depth and explain why. There are two main reasons, and then there's one extra point I want to talk about at the end. So the first reason you don't need to speak the local language is because your students' level of English is likely to be very, very high. This is the case, especially in China, but also in all of the destinations that we run programs. Your students will have a level of English that's high enough so that you can communicate and explain games, expand on vocabulary and move forward and help them develop. It's amazing, these, these students from all across the world, how good their English is. And then I know when I was at school learning French, it was not very impressive whatsoever. So there's a highly high likelihood that your students will already be significantly good at English and your main role is to help them gain confidence and to work on their pronunciation because they have local teachers who are absolutely fluent in English. They know far more grammar <laughs> than the grammar structures and their spelling is fantastic and they work with the students on English However, they cannot replicate the pronunciation. So that is your job. There's very subtle things that we don't think about. It will just be second nature to you. Um, and it, you'll be great at it, I'm sure. Um, all of our, not all of our, the majority of our teachers don't speak the local language. And even if they do, they're encouraged not to use it because they really want to um, immerse the students in English from the moment they walk into the classroom. I taught in China, I taught really young kids, M1 to M5, but even the M1s, the rule was no Chinese in the classroom, always English. So that's the first possibility. Your students' English will be great and you're just going to expand on that. But there is another possibility that your students' English isn't great. I've had this in Thailand and in China to a certain extent with the younger ones. But in Thailand, I had classes of students who didn't didn't really even know how to string a simple sentence together let alone let alone um, kind of have a conversation and there's various different things that will happen when this happens 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 apologies uh, the first one is you will have a local co-teacher these can vary a lot in quality I've had some co-teachers who have come to every lesson, really supported me and given me help and advice and translated situations um, when I need help. I've had other co-teachers that take a more relaxed approach, but you've got to go with the flow. And you know, these teachers often are not even getting paid as much as you. They'll work significantly harder than you. Their workload will be a lot heavier. So yes, you deserve the support, but you've just got to try and open that communication and get as much as you need from them um, without creating kind of any difficulties. But majority of co-teachers are fantastic. And I would say over 50%, maybe not quite 70%, but around that range. The other um, way that you will deal with uh, kids that can't speak English and you can't speak the local language is practice and learning. Okay, like I said, m the majority of our teachers don't speak any of the local language prior to beginning their teaching careers abroad. You just pick it up and you learn techniques. We offer 
uh, online training sessions and some training during the meetups and you you just learn how to deal with it you may have funny moments you may think they have not understood a word of what i've said but you break it down you keep it really simple you do a lot of repetition okay uh dog everybody dog 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 say it slow say it fast say it high say it low have fun have energy and they'll respond to that it, it's not a case of if you cannot speak a single word of the local language and the students can't understand a word of English, you use your body language, you use your energy. And there may be a few lessons which are difficult, especially at the start, but you'll learn ways, okay? And then you can say to your co-teacher, please come in Tuesday morning. I need you to explain what we're going to be doing. If this is the case, the pressure on you is not going to be too much. You're just going to be there to give the students some energy, uh, get them excited about coming to class, having fun and learning English. So those are the two main reasons why you don't have to speak the local language. And always remember, there have been thousands of our teachers, let alone all the other teachers in the world who go to teach English, who don't speak the local language. If you can't, don't worry. So that's great. And the other thing I wanted to talk about briefly is the benefits of trying to learn some of the local language, not actually for your experience at school, but more about your overall experience. In Petiboon, when I was a teacher um, in 2021, 22, I didn't really learn any Thai. Now I'm back and I'm going to school three days a week, not studying as much as I should, guilty, but I'm busy doing other things and I will get there but I've already picked so much up and it's just so beneficial because you can really make deeper connections with even the the shopkeeper who you go and uh, buy some snacks from on the way home from school or you meet someone in a bar and you have a chat and you can just get the basics initially and then pushing that as far as you can is a great experience you learn so much more about the culture, people, and build better relationships. So I'm slightly contradicting myself. You don't need to learn any of the local language for school life, but I really recommend putting in the effort, like I didn't do in Petrobun, I am doing now, put in the effort to learn as much as you can, maybe before you go, and especially when you're here, and try to speak to people, go to the markets and try and buy different food, different amounts, all oh, 20 eggs and one kilogram of this or that. Try and you'll get so much more from the experience and you you will feel so much more welcomed in the place you are living. Anyway, that's enough from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are interested in teaching abroad, I've left my email down in the description. If you like this, um, subscribe to our channel please there'll be more videos from me in thailand and arnold back in london uh, follow us and yeah get in touch if you have any questions bye bye